G'day guys, welcome back. I'm gonna do a swipe for you today. Uh, this one is based on something that happened at my pouring workshop last weekend. We were doing a swiping workshop and um, we were you know, mixing our colors and putting our silicone in and we were all doing like either a black or a white swipe. Nikki was doing a black swipe. Hey Nikki. And she laid out all her paints and then she said, oh, I forgot to put the silicone in my paints. And I said, well, that's okay. Let's just put the silicone oil in the black and swipe and we'll see what happens. So she did and it was a beautiful pool. I'll show it to you. It's over here. It's dry. Just waiting for her to come and pick it up. That's it there. That was the reflection swipe where you swipe half that way and then half that way. So that was hers. So I'm going to show you, I'm sure a lot of you maybe have forgotten to put the silicone oil in. So let's just do it today. Let's forget to put the silicone in and uh, we'll just put it in the swipe colour. So I have mixed up 70% glue, this is Elmer's glue all, and 30% water. Just mix it all up in a big jug. And in my cups here, I have got 50 grams of the pouring medium and 25 grams of paint. So it's two to one. So thinner than I would do for a flip cup. I'll show you. It's hardly even a mound. It's certainly not a mound on a mound. It's hardly even a mound. Just a little, little mound. See that? Okay, so that's the consistency you want. If it's too thick, uh, the cells have trouble popping up through the, the top colour that you swipe with. So, swiping with black, that's also been mixed at two to one. If your black's been sitting around for a long time, you might want to add a few little drops of water, but it's fine. So I'm going to leave a space at the top for the black. And because this is not a very big uh, surface, it's just my 30 by 40 centimeter card or 12 by 16 inch, I'm just going to swipe down with the black once. So because we're having a dark color at the top, we need the light colors at the top next to it. So light there, that's the turquoise, and then we'll put the, the pink there. So those are the two I want up the top. Now the rest of it, you can just do whatever you like. We've got some dark purple, so let's pop that on. This is uh, similar to the dioxazine purples that you can buy. It's a colour that I made myself, but I've matched it to dioxazine purple. So for this size surface, for a swipe, we only need about 375 grams of mixed paint. So as I said, each cup's got 50 and 30, which is 75, and we've got five colours. So don't want too much for a swipe. You sort of have to take most of it off anyway. Otherwise, uh, when you've, after you've swiped, it looks really pretty to begin with, but afterwards everything will start stretching and moving because you've left too much paint on the surface. So you have to be careful not to leave too much paint on or you'll be in all sorts of trouble. I think a lot of people have trouble with that. They just pour the paint on tilt it around a little bit and then think, yep, I'm done, but you can't leave it all on there. You have to get some of it off. Radio, let's go with some pink in here. A little bit there. Sort of pinky purple tones and then two bluey tones 
and then swap with the black. So this one, this is the turquoise, it can just sort of go over the top somewhere, wherever it wants to go. No right or wrong, just put it wherever you want to. here with some paint. I'm going to tilt anyway, cover everything. There we go, use it all up. Now it doesn't matter if you've got a few little gaps here and there because we're going to tilt. When you're tilting this way try and leave your little spot for the black so that's the only thing you have to watch out for really. The rest of it you can do what you like but just leave that little bit of space at the top there for the black. If you do come up a little bit too far, that's okay. Just wipe it back. Won't matter. Now you can see the paint's moving quite fast. So I know that that's too much paint left on there. And I'm going to turn it around because I want to get down that way a little bit too. So I'll hang on to the top. all my blue down the bottom doesn't matter when you swipe all the colors get stretched and cover at each other anyway what's that ah, just a bubble all right now let's check I like to check the amount of paint left on there it's still moving quite fast so I'm going to take a little bit more off and this is just comes down to experience as to how much paint to leave on there. I can't say to you leave this much paint on because I can't tell you how much paint physically to leave on. It's just a feeling of how fast the paint's moving. All right, let's leave it like that. Okay, now here's our black. Put any water in it. I think it should be all right. I'm going to put five drops of silicone in there. So I've got 75 grams of mixed paint. One, two, three, four, five. There we go. And that is the treadmill silicone, 100% silicone oil. Give it a good mix. So what I like to do is I like to put the black at the top there and I also like to drizzle some black down because when you start to swipe and you're pulling that black across, by the time you've got to here, you've used all the black and you haven't got enough down there. So I like to put some more black down here so that it can then be pulled over the rest of the painting, if that makes sense to you. All right, so we'll put a little bit of black across the top. And then... I'll just do a little squiggle through there and another little squiggle through there like so and then the plastic will just pick up that black and help it drag across over the rest because you want the black pretty much over everything so that when the cells pop up um, because these colors are all semi-transparent or transparent when they pop up the black will pop down around them creating the cells now, I just need to, I've got a few little spots there where the black needs to move into. A little bit of a blank spot just there. I think that's pretty much got it all. So don't pour your paint on it and then walk away because the paint will start thickening up. So pour it just before you're about to, to swipe. Otherwise it will start thickening up and you'll end up with tiny little cells. Okay, so I'm gonna swipe with this. I'll show you the colors first. So it's a black swipe. 
And then we have the dioxazine purple and mulberry purple. Uh, this one's called Peacock, which is a pale turquoise, and Sky, which is a light blue that I make as well. Alrighty, are we ready? You can see the black is making little cells and funny effects. Now, don't touch the very edge at the top there. Make sure you've got one foot behind the other so that when you do swipe backwards, you don't fall over and just transfer your weight from one foot to the other. Now don't touch the other colours, just touch your black and gently pull towards you. Don't go too fast because it'll kind of skip. Now when you're driving and you hit a bit of a bump and it skips over, you've got to go nice and slow to keep the contact with the plastic onto your paint. If you go too fast it will leave the surface of the paint and then you'll get areas where you've missed. Now where can I put that? Out of the way. So fly in here again. So as you can see plenty of cells popping up straight away from that silicone that we had in the black only. Now for my edges I'm just going to use a little bit of a paint chip card and I'm going to put a little bit of black just on the top there. And I'm going to use this little card just to ever so gently just swipe down the edge like that and the same on the other side so don't torch straight away sorry if i'm in the light here making a shadow don't torch straight away wait until the cells come up on their own and there we go So you can see what I mean about the black, how it starts off thick and then as you pull down, the black is kind of uh, thinned out so you don't have as thick a black down here. But you do want some black, otherwise you don't get those nice defined cells. Rightio, let's torch very, very lightly. Just like that and we'll wait for those beautiful little cells to pop up I really like these little plain pink ones that's why I always put the light color at the top there because then you swipe your dark color over your light color and you get these gorgeous little pink ones popping up Okay, go again, ever so gently, don't want to overdo it. Oops, I'm getting a bit of a cluster there where I've got a little bit too close. If you do want a bit of a cluster, I'll show you on this small torch. Uh, if you want a cluster, you can just sort of go like that. So I've got one there where the heat's touched it um, a lot just jump out all of a sudden. So um, we're gonna have a little cluster maybe just there. So they're all starting to jump up already and maybe just over here as well, like that. So you can see how they pop up straight away. That's why I like to generally torch from nice up and high so that I get just a broad amount of cells. But it is nice to have Maybe a little cluster here and there. So I've got a cluster here and a cluster in the corner. And then I've also got these random bigger cells and some little cells as well. So it's very interesting to look at. There's, there's so much to look at. Okay. So it's one of these things where, you know, less is more. Don't get carried away. Uh, these cells will continue to grow, so you don't want to over torch. Uh, and the other thing, where up here, where there's only the black dragged over one or two colours, they're quite bright. When you get down to the bottom here, and the colours have been dragged over, you know, 
two, three, four other colours because we went zigzag. By the time you get down here, these colours have all blended. So they can look a little bit, oh, well, maybe not so muddy, but you just have to be aware that by the time you get down here, these colours have all dragged over each other. So they're not going to be as bright as up there. But again, it's just interest. You don't want everything to be exactly the same. How boring would it be if these were bright pink down here and bright turquoise? You know, it's nice to have a little bit of a different look. So I'll take you in for a close-up. Actually, I'll take the camera down so that you can see. And I'm not going to torch any more. Uh, these cells will keep growing. So we don't want to overdo them. So if you're doing a swipe and, or actually even a pour, if you're doing, say, a dirty pour, um, or maybe a flip cup pour and you think, oh no, I've forgotten my silicone oil. Don't despair. Make up some black. I would suggest black. Pop some silicone in it and turn it into a beautiful swipe. You can swipe over your flip cup paints. You can swipe over your dirty pool, your ring pool, whatever you want to do. Just make sure that you've tilted off some paint before you swipe. So there you go. I don't know if that's focusing. I better come back out. All right. How pretty is that, hey? Okay, so have a go at swiping. It's easy peasy. And I'll see you for the next one. Okay, bye for now.